Hello and welcome to the Trade Ideas Market Recap for Friday, August the 29th. My name is Barry Enerson. I am the moderator of the trading room and this is the address to get into the room. You, uh, For those of you who have seen some of these videos, uh, I've had to make a change in term, uh, for the login. Uh, unfortunately, if you saw the, video, or saw the video yesterday, you know that we had a problem with uh, somebody who had infested the room with a bunch of uh, nonsense and so... Uh, I said that if it continued, we might have to make a change to the login. And so that's what we've had, we're going to do starting Tuesday. Uh, you can log in with your Facebook or your Twitter account. Hopefully most of you will have one of those. And if not, um, Rumble Talk, you, it, it's fairly easy to make uh, uh, an account name with Rumble Talk. Rumble Talk are the, uh, is a software that we use to create the room. So you cannot log in as a guest anymore. And the room hours will be from 8 a.m. Eastern uh, Daylight Time until the market close. And I'm sorry about that, but uh, I think if you were in the room yesterday and today, you'll know exactly why I've had to, we've had to do that. Not just I, but Trade Ideas has to do this. So let's take a look at the trades that I did today. Well, the first trade actually was a, a continuation of yesterday. If you saw the video, video yesterday, you know that I bought XXII towards the end of the day. And during the video, I was watching it and I actually said I might swing it. And that's what I did. It, it finished strongly. So I decided to hold it overnight. And in the morning, this is uh, 8.25 a.m. in the morning. This is the gray area here is the uh, uh, is the postmark or the pre-market. And it was rewarded with a nice pop up here, 3.24. And the volume was pretty good. And the, and, and the bid ask was, was, was good also. So... I actually took half off at 329. It hit a high at 344. I think that might have been a bad print or, or somebody accidentally bought there because it really didn't trade up there. It was just sort of a whip up and, and right back down. So I took uh, half out at 329, which is a great percentage gain from 288, and then waited for the open. And it opened at, um, what was the open at 312, and it got as high as uh, 325. And I thought, okay, maybe it's really going to take off. Uh, but it didn't do that, and as it started coming down, it decided to uh, to exit the trade at 302. So again, not too bad from 288, and it was a good exit because it really didn't do anything for the rest of the day. One of the reasons why I decided to uh, to exit it, let me just bring up the daily for uh, for this one. You can see here is um, this is today's candle, and this is Thursday, and this is Wednesday, and you can see it had a big tail right down here. It was driven all the way down here, 189. And yes, and it, it, the, the, sell, the buyers took over and then they uh, took over yesterday also. But I just didn't want to take the chance that all of a sudden, you know, those sellers would come right back and drive it down uh, hard. So I just that, that's basically why I, uh, I decided to get out of the trade at uh, 302 right here. So that was the first one. The second one was uh, COUP. And this was I, I basically was watching this uh, based on my evening scan. And this was a stock that had been beaten up quite a bit. I mean, here's the 1915, and then uh, several weeks ago, it got all the way down to 1161, and it is starting to curl up. So yesterday, it had a nice day. So this was one I definitely wanted to start watching. And I actually uh, thought that if it could get over um, this level here, right, right, actually this candle right there, I thought, okay, maybe it'll, uh, it'll have a good run in it. Well, today... It basically opened uh, above there. It uh, opened right in this level. So I started watching it. This is on a 15-minute chart. Let me go to the five-minute chart. And so on this candle here, I thought, okay, I'm going to uh, watch it kind of churn around here. But I took the trade at 14.99. Now, it actually got as high as uh, 15.21. But, you know, the problem again with this one was a very wide bid and ask. The, the difference being uh, the spread was was uh, was you know very bad for a stock of this uh, price and so even though it got it got this high because I may have I may have actually taken half out to, just to be on the safe side but I think at that point the bid was probably I think it was 1505 and the ask was 1522 so you know a very bad spread and again it always makes me nervous to make anybody nervous when you have a spread like that because you never know when they're going to just drop the bid and then everything collapses so when it did all this, I, uh, you know, I decided, I think it was right on this candle here that I uh, was able to get out at uh, just a few pennies above the 14.99. I notice now that it's at, uh, the market still has about uh, 20 minutes left and it's, uh, it's up to 15.28. But, and I'll, I'll probably watch this on, on Tuesday, but, you know, I, I, I just was a little, um, a little unsure what was going to happen as, you know, nobody can tell exactly what's going to happen. So I just decided to be conservative and get out for for the uh, for a few pennies 
The next stock was LVS, Las Vegas Sands Corporation. And this came, a lot of us were watching this actually. This was going to be perhaps a classic bounce alert. And uh, it definitely came in my bounce alert uh, strategy. And watch it get all the way down to here, which is 66.27. And this are the, again, these are five minute candles. So on this candle here, it looked good. And I decided to take the trade at 66.37. It looked like the, the bounce was, was uh, going to start. And so I took the trade at 66.37 and I exited half at 66.52 and the other half at 66.43, which is uh, actually pretty good exits, especially the first one, because I think the high, uh, the high after this bounce was only uh, 66.59. So uh, that was a good exit there. And, and let me make sure that I was right. Yeah, 66.52. I'm just checking my notes and, and my, uh, my sheets. And so that was a good exit. I mean, nothing spectacular, but again, you know, Friday before a long weekend, uh, don't expect too much. Uh, I have been surprised before on things that move, but, uh, you know, I, I was just looking to, to uh, you know, get some profit of it, and that's exactly what I did. The next trade was AVGO. Now, this one, um, here's where AVGO closed on uh, Thursday, 76.47, and it opened way up here. Uh, I think it was probably an earnings play. And so this was on our radars. A lot of us were, were watching this. And I had basically said that if it could crack 83, that I would get in. Now, I actually took this right at 83. Uh, and I, you know, I wasn't sure if it was going to work. I actually said it kind of broke a rule. Now, right at this point is when we had our, I'll call it the infestation from, from the poster who started posting. Again, very crude and, and vile remarks in, in the room. And so I was, uh, you know, I was busy trying to uh, ban the IP and also uh, delete the post when all, when all of a sudden it surged up. So I had to get rid of this and it actually turned out to be not bad. I got rid of it at 83.19 and it uh, really didn't do anything after that. But, uh, you know, so while that was happening, while I had that, this surge, uh, that's when this individual decided to make his post. So uh, I don't, I'm not even sure if I even posted it in the room when I got out, but that, that's, you know, I, that's when I did because I, I couldn't take the chance that he was going to keep coming back and I was going to have to deal with it. So I decided to exit right there. A real pain, let me tell you. Um, and the last one was Hertz. Hertz, uh, again, alerted many times as a bounce play. You can see here it was uh, falling. Uh, people were watching it. Um, didn't bounce very much here. We kept watching it, watching it, and all the way down here, it got, a, got as low as 29. I was actually uh, hoping that it would get right down to the whole number. It's always usually a good bounce time or bounce period. Uh, bounce price, I should say, is at the whole number. I love it when it when it does that. And it didn't uh, it didn't quite make it, but it uh, did start to surge up. And on this candle right here, I took the trade at 29.29, uh, 29, and uh, eventually I sold half at 29.61, which was very good. Uh, the high was 29.68, and I don't have it marked here, but I I sold the other half at 29.49. I had said that if it would break down through here, see the low here is 29.50. I said if it uh, if I got a bid of 29.49. Uh, I was going to be out, and that's exactly what happened. So on this candle, I, I exited the trade. So that's it. Um, you know, Labor Day is on uh, Monday, so I hope everybody has a great long weekend. Uh, see you in the room on Tuesday. And again, remember, you're going to now have to log in with your Facebook or your Twitter account. Um, I, I think <laughs> who doesn't have one in this day and age? But if you don't, that's okay. You can create a Rumble Talk uh, account. So see you in the room on Tuesday.